my name is Miss Amber. I work at our middle school program at Bruce Randolph. Um, and the activity that I have for you guys today is to create a fun way that you can stay active and move around inside, especially during this time where I know you might not be able to go outside and do all the things that you love to do every single day. Um, so I'm hoping that this can be fun. So my questions for you to think about as we're starting today is what is one activity that you love to do that's physically active? How does it make your body feel? And how do you feel during and after that activity? So just take a second or a minute to write down your answer to those questions. You can think of them in your head or if you're watching this video with somebody, share your answers with them for a second. Um, I love to play soccer, so it makes my body feel really strong and healthy and it kind of challenges me in different ways and then I feel energized and connected to people when I'm playing and I feel really content and fulfilled after I'm done playing. So that's just an example. Um, I know right now it might not be easy to do the activities that you love doing, like maybe it's a sport that you really like, or maybe you really like going places to play different activities on a playground or at a basketball court or a soccer field, but some of the things that you love about those sports and those activities can still happen for you in doing some other activities um, in a different way inside right now. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So for our activity today, you'll need a piece of paper um, something to write with. I have a pen, you can use markers, whatever you want, and some scissors. Um, if you don't have scissors, you can rip the paper, totally fine. Um, it'll work just fine. So you also need a little bit of space to move around your body today. So wherever you are right now, try to move your arms and your legs around. And if you have space and you're not touching anything or hitting anyone, you're good. So to start, we're gonna make little cards with different activities on them for you to use for the activity now and for later to move around. So you wanna make a piece of paper that's about this big. Um, I just used a big piece of paper and then cut it into little squares like this. So take a minute to do that. Um, once again, you can pause this at any time so you have a little bit of extra time to create what you'd like to do. But to start, just make maybe eight little cards to use. I'll give you a second to do that. So once you've cut up little papers, um, these are gonna be our activity cards. So one, we're gonna, I'm gonna give you examples of eight different activities that you can do, but you can do anything that you'd like to do as well. If there's additional things that sound fun to you or um, other activities that you really like to do to move around, please use those as well. But for today, I'm gonna give you examples on the cards and then I'm gonna show you how we can do them inside. So some of the things that I've written down are jumping jacks, jogging in place, dancing, the jump and twist, doing push-ups, caterpillars, spinning around, or reaching for the sky. So I'm gonna give you an example of what each of those looks like, and then you can feel free to also do any of uh, other things that you're interested in. So what is reaching for the sky? Let me show you. So you wanna start standing up and you want to move your arms really 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 high and then swoop your body all the way down and you can do that as many times as you want until your body feels awesome spinning around is exactly what it sounds like just do a couple spins in place don't get yourself too dizzy so try to mix up the direction that you're spinning and don't spin forever because you will get kind of dizzy um, I'm gonna show you jumping and twisting. This is one that you wanna make sure you have a lot of space for. So find a space that you can find, uh, have room and you're basically gonna move your body back and forth like this, where you're twisting your body and you're jumping up and down, okay? Jogging in place is exactly what it sounds like. 
You're just gonna move your legs in the place that you're in and jog around. Jumping jacks. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of these before. Basically what you do is you move your arms and legs in an X shape like this and you jump around. All right, so these other ones, dancing. I'm not a very good dancer, but that's okay. You can just have fun with it. Um, basically, any kind of dance move you like. Do you like this dance move? Do you like these? Some of these? Jump, jumping around like this. Also, if you're a really good dancer, go for it. Do a really great dance. I'm just not great at dancing. Um, these other two, I'm gonna move the video so I can actually show you what it looks like. So, for push-ups, I'm sure many of you have seen a push-up before. But you're basically gonna get your body like this, really straight, gonna go down, and back up, and down, and back up, and down, and back up, for however many you can do. And our caterpillar, you start standing up, and you lean over, and you walk your body all the way out, and all the way back. And all the way out, and all the way back. So that's what those ones look like. So, those are the examples that I have for different movements, but you can feel free to put any of your own ideas on paper as well. And so these are gonna act as your cards that you can take from this activity and use anytime. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice using them. So, put your cards in a little stack. And if you're with someone, ask them to pull a card for you. And if you're not, you can pick your own card. So, let's see. I'm gonna randomly select a card out of here and it says, jog in place. So then, for a little bit of a break from either watching TV or on being on your computer, or sitting down, you can grab your cards, find a random one, and oh, jog in place. Okay, so then jog in place. Try to do it for like a minute. I'm not gonna do it for the whole minute because you'll get really bored of watching me jog in place. But try to do a different activity for like a minute at a time so you can move your body around when you've been sitting down for a long time. Um, so another option for how to um, use these cards is to pick a song and to use um, two cards for the different parts of the song. So I'm going to randomly choose two cards. Let's see, I got jumping jacks and reaching for the sky. Okay, so those are gonna be my two cards for the song. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose a song right now and we'll practice together. Um, the one, the song that I've chose is Happier. It's by Marshmallow, if you don't know the song. But you can pick any song that you like to listen to. Especially if you're feeling kinda bored, it's super fun to listen to a song that you enjoy. So, we're gonna practice together. So during the verse, I'm only going to do one of these motions and we'll choose Reaching for the Sky. And then during the chorus, we're going to do the other motion, which in my case is jumping jacks. And the chorus is the part of the song that repeats itself over and over again. So you'll be doing jumping jacks, in this case, many times. I'm only going to go through the beginning of the song so that I don't get exhausted and out of breath. But you can go through an entire song if um, you would like to. So one moment, let me pull up the song and then we can try together. So here we go. Here's the verse. Lately, I've been, I've been thinking I want you to be happier I want you to be happier When the morning comes And we see what we've become In the cold light of day We're a flame in the wind Not the fire that we begun Every argument Every word we can't take back Cause with all that has happened I think that we both know the way That the story ends Then only
So there you go. A little out of breath. But there's an example of how you can use music to use the activities that you've written on your cards. Um, when you're feeling bored or you've been sitting down for a really long time um, or you just need a little bit of a break, a little bit of movement break. So this is something you can do. Maybe you're watching something on TV and during a commercial break, you can pick out one of your cards and then do that activity for the whole commercial break. Or maybe if you're using your computer, try to take two minutes, pick two of these different activities and then do one each minute and then get back on your computer. Or if you're just feeling really bored, pick out a song and do what we just did together right there um, to move around and to be active. Um, so there's lots and lots of different activities that you can put on these cards. These are just some examples. If you're feeling really like getting um, really physically active, you can do things like squats. You can do things like jumping up and down. Um, you can do all kinds of different exercises. So do whatever feels good for you. Um, but just try to, to move around and hopefully it will help your bodies feel equally as um, exercised and happy as they do when you're playing other things that you may not be able to do right now. So as we're closing, I'd love for you guys to think about what is something that you learned today? What is an indoor activity that you would like to do or that you can do now that you watch this when you're feeling bored? Um, and I'd like for you to think of a way that you can, um, like the best activity, what is the best activity that you could break up or take a break from with some of these activities? So take a second to write those down, think of them in your head or share them with somebody around you. And um, I hope that this will help you guys have some fun while you're home. I miss seeing all of you. I hope that you are doing really well and I absolutely can't wait to see you again soon. Um, and I hope that you're well. Okay, bye.